This is an amplifier. This is a bigger amplifier. And this is the biggest home theater amp I have ever seen. Hey guys, welcome back to Life of Bliss. Today I've got something pretty special for you guys. This box here is from OSD Audio or Optimal Speaker Design. And if you're unfamiliar with OSD, I went over them a little bit in my last video when I featured their Travoce 12, which is a 12 inch powered subwoofer. So if you'd like to know a little bit more about OSD, I'm gonna leave a link for that video down below. We're just gonna be focusing on this today. And what they sent here is the Theatro X11 home theater amplifier. This is an 11 channel, 234 pound amp. Yeah, it's insane. I am super excited to show you guys, so let's go ahead and get started. So first, let's talk about the box that this is in. This is not the actual box that it comes shipped in. After speaking with the guys at OSD, they let me know that it actually comes in a wooden crate on a pallet to your guys' doorstep instead of in this particular box. This is their demo unit, so they take it around to different events across the country or send it out to people like me for reviewing. So they wanted something that's easy to repackage and throw on a pallet and obviously protect it while it's being transported. So let's go ahead and get this sucker opened up. Here we go. Oh yeah. Man, now that is a big amp. So as you can see, this thing is absolutely massive. It does have some carrying handles here on the front and back on either side. Uh, the problem is getting this 230 pound monster out of the lower part of the box here. And uh, I'm not able to do it by myself. Um, so I've got one of two options. I can either have my wife help me, who is 36 weeks pregnant, or I can call one of my neighbors. We are not having that baby today. There we go. God, that thing's just freaking massive. What do you think? You need one? Yeah, yeah, I need one of those. <laughs> Now, I normally try to set stuff like this on a table or on my bar top to uh, look at, but um, I think I'm just going to leave it on the floor. Now, in the box also came the owner's manual, a couple of 3.5 millimeter remote turn-on wires, and two power cables. Why two power cables? Let me show you. Okay. There we go. All right, so here on the back side, you can see there are two spots for power cables to plug into. And for this amplifier to get full power at 380 watts per channel times 11 channels, this needs two dedicated 20 amp outlets to plug into. Now I'll show you around the rest of the amplifier while I go over all the specs. The X11 measures 17.3 inches wide, 18.3 inches high, and 21.4 inches deep. And as mentioned, tips the scales at a hefty 234 pounds. To put that in perspective, here's one of the big XPA series amplifiers from Emotiva looking small next to the X11. The metal chassis has a flat black finish and venting slots along the back half of the top plate. Along the sides are four recessed handles to help move this beast around. The front panel has a power button just below the OSD black logo in the middle. The power button will be illuminated red while not in use, and when powered on, both of these glow a soft blue. While these don't come off as super bright, there's no way to turn them off, so something to keep in mind if you plan on having this sit beneath your display. Next, we'll take a look at the impressive looking back panel. Starting at the top right, you'll see the two power plugs I mentioned earlier. Above that, we have a main power switch, as well as a trigger input, output, and trigger sensor switch. I was told that the X11 can run on only one power cord plugged in, but it won't be able to achieve its full output potential without running off of two dedicated 20 amp circuits. Looking at channels one through five on the X11, you can see each channel has an unbalanced RCA input and a balanced XLR input. Below are heavy duty gold plated five-way binding posts for each channel output. Moving down towards the bottom, you'll find the other six channels the X11 can amplify, making a total of 11 channels of amplification. Putting all of that weight to good use, each of the X11's channels is rated at 380 watts RMS per channel at 8 ohms and 600 watts RMS per channel at 4 ohms. 
This makes the X11 an excellent amplifier to power even the most demanding and hard to drive home theater systems up to 11 channels all in one package. To produce this power, the X11 has a variable power supply providing class AB amplification at lower volumes and switching to class H at higher volumes. OSD did not have any good images to feature of the inside layout of the amplifier, so I'll be taking some of the panels off of the X11 in a future video and showing the inside of the amp. At the time of this video, the OSD Black Theatro X11 is listed for $49.95 on Whole House Audio's website. OSD has provided the promo code LIFEOFBLISS15 to enter at checkout to take 15% off the total price. Be sure to take advantage of the savings if you are interested in purchasing the X11 from OSD. Now guys, if you're familiar with the channel, you'll know that I'm pretty conservative with the sort of stuff that I have down here. But I am really excited to get this integrated into the system. I have a 5.1.2 setup in my theater area and to properly test this out, I'm gonna be pulling out some other towers that I have to place in the rear of the room and repositioning my side surrounds to where I can have a 7.1.2 setup, which will be nine total channels that the amplifier will be running. And then I also have a few more uh, channels in the ceiling in my bar area that I'm gonna be running this off of as well. And I should be able to do a test where I'm gonna be doing some music over several hours, like four or five hours, and then really see how this performs and how hot it gets because Honestly, that's kind of a concern of mine, how hot it's going to get because that's a lot of power and there's only these vents up top here. There's nothing on the side. Uh, I don't believe there's anything on the bottom. So I'll definitely be testing out to see how warm it gets. Now, as I mentioned earlier, $5,000 is not cheap for an amplifier by any means. But when you look at the price per channel and per watts per channel, it's really not that bad. If you look at the last two Emotiva amplifiers that I reviewed, the XPA7 and the DR3, those were putting out uh, 450 watts a channel for the DR3 um, and 200 watts per channel for the XPA7, and that's 10 total channels going anywhere from 200 to 450 watts, and you're paying about $4,000 for those two amplifiers. So one extra channel, more, I guess uh, overall more wattage total um, for $5,000, it's pretty on par for what you're paying for some of the uh, bigger name brand amplifier companies out there. Now is it easier to move the two Emotiva amplifiers compared to this thing? Yeah, but this is cooler. I mean, this thing is just incredible. Over 230 pounds for a home theater amplifier, it's just a freaking beast. So I want to say a huge thank you to OSD Audio for sending both this and their subwoofer out for review. If you're interested in any of their products, I'll leave a link down in the description below for their website. Thanks for checking out the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. Thanks for checking out Life of Bliss and I'll see you soon.